Due to the large selection of televisions used in the manufacturing of Forest River RVs, it's impossible to list all of them here. But let's talk about some general information that will be applicable to most all televisions. Now, your RV is pre-wired for cable, and your televisions operate on 12 volt DC or 120 volt AC power. Your RV must be connected to shore power, have the optional generator running, or the optional inverter connected for the TV to operate. Remember that appliances using the inverter drain about 10 times the power from your batteries as normal 12 volt DC appliances do. Use the inverter only when necessary. You may also have an optional roof mounted antenna. The antenna can only be used when the recreational vehicle is parked. Be sure to check your parking location for obstructions before raising the antenna. The antenna handle is located on the ceiling, usually in the lounge kitchen area and or in the bedroom. Go ahead now and crank the handle in the up direction as indicated by the arrow on the large control knob. Continue to rotate the handle until you feel resistance. That should occur somewhere around 13 turns. Do not force the handle beyond the point that resistance is felt. When the antenna is up, fine tune the signal by grasping the large rotating knob, pulling it slightly down and turning it until the clearest picture and sound are available. To be sure the antenna is working properly, tune the TV receiver to the nearest station and rotate the antenna until you get good picture and sound. Make sure the switch on the power booster is turned on, which is normally located by the main TV. To lower the antenna, rotate it with the large control knob until the pointer on the control knob lines up with the pointer on the ceiling plate. The antenna can now be lowered by cranking the handle in the down direction. Continue to rotate the handle until you feel resistance, again around 13 turns. For portable satellite installation, we suggest that you contact your dealer or a satellite professional.